Whenever you insert a still image into a video in iMovie, it applies what's called the Ken Burns effect. Ken Burns, you may know, the director who made a lot of those documentaries for PBS, like The War, The Civil War, Baseball. And when he only had still photos to work with, he didn't like just taking a picture of a still photo to put in a movie. So he would zoom in on the picture, and then he could zoom out. He could pan, which is move left or right or diagonally across a picture. And he did that with his movie camera, so it created the movement, and that has become known as the Ken Burns effect. So iMovie automatically applies the Ken Burns effect to every still image. You don't have to use the movement that it creates because it doesn't know. And the Ken Burns effect is used to highlight specific parts of a photo, to give visual interest to a still photo, so it's not just still though there are times that you want that. So when you tap on a still photo in the timeline and you get the yellow box around it, notice here on the window in the top left, it says pinch to position the start. So pinch is to shrink it. You can't shrink it because it's at full size. You can't shrink it down. iMovie's not gonna let you make it smaller than the frame. But I could zoom in, maybe So I'm spreading my fingers and I'm moving them. So I'll start maybe on his eyes. So that's where this image is gonna start. Then if I tap the arrow underneath, pinch to position the end. So I could zoom all the way out or maybe not quite all the way out. So from the beginning here to the end, here and it's going to take in the top of the frame there you can see 5.3 seconds so if I move back and press play that's the Ken Burns effect if you don't want the movement you could do the start and do the end so they are pretty close to the same. You have to kind of play with it a little to get it. If it moves a little bit, it's going to be very hard to get it perfect, so you don't worry about it.